the University of Wisconsin is usually known for their running backs and offensive line. From Ron Dane to Jonathan Taylor, and Joe Thomas to Tyler Biotish, and many in between. But on Friday, October 23rd, most people will be talking about Graham Mertz, who is known as Wisconsin's most hyped quarterback since Russell Wilson. This leaves many asking, who is Graham Mertz? In the Who Is series, we go through the backstories of up-and-coming collegiate and professional athletes. If you like what you see, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Graham Mertz grew up in Overland Park, Kansas. Being a suburb of Kansas City, Overland Park has a very high population. Now, because the population is so high there, there was a lot of competition for sports teams. Mertz was a talented young kid, but he had to build his way from the bottom up. Mertz spent his first two years of high school at Bishop Mage High School in Roseland Park, Kansas, where he backed up All-State quarterback Carter Putz. Right before his junior year, he decided he was going to transfer to Blue Valley North High School. Once he transferred, he led his school to a Class 6A state championship as a junior year, completing 62% of his passes for 3,684 yards and 45 touchdowns, while also rushing for five touchdowns on the ground. During his senior year, he completed 61.1% of his passes for 3,886 yards and a state record 51 touchdowns, as well as rushing for 267 yards and four touchdowns on the ground, while leading his team to the 6A runner-up position. He was a finalist for the Elite 11 quarterback competition that year, and he was the Gatorade Kansas Football Player of the Year. Mertz measured to be 6 feet 3 inches tall and weighed 216 pounds, showing that he has the potential body type of being a very good pro-style quarterback. He was rated as the third highest pro-style quarterback in the country and was Kansas' highest recruit. He was the 65th highest rated recruit in the entire country. He was being scouted very heavily by some of the biggest college programs in the nation. The teams that offered him scholarships were Texas A&M, Oregon, Tennessee, Ole Miss, Oklahoma State, Ohio State, Notre Dame, Michigan, Missouri, LSU, Minnesota, Miami, Kansas, Iowa, Clemson, Georgia, Arizona State, Alabama, and Wisconsin. 24-7 sports crystal ball had him all over the place. They had him at Minnesota 40%, Wisconsin 20%, Ohio State 20%, and Notre Dame 20%. But lead expert Evan Flood said that he would definitely sign to the Wisconsin Badgers. After running a 5 second 40, a 4.2 second shuttle, having a vertical jump of 28.9 inches along with the rest of his measurables, he showed he was a very talented prospect. He was rated as a 4 star prospect, scoring a .96 from 24-7 sports. Just as a high school graduate who was a member of the All-American Bowl roster, the opening finals roster, and Elite 11 final roster, he played in a lot of games and it led scouts to believe that he was ready for the big show. He was described as having a clean throwing motion and clean mechanics, with good arm strength and can change the speed of the ball depending on the situation. They said he has done a very good job limiting turnovers and he is projected to be a multi-year power 5 starter with the ability to win big games. He graded 8 in pocket presence, delivery, and accuracy, and he was noted as having a 7 in arm strength and intangibles. Oftentimes, one of the things you cannot actually grade from a quarterback is their intangibles. Mertz was believed by many scouts to have the thing that makes him something special. Well, of all the offers he received, Wisconsin was the most intriguing one for him. He originally received an offer from Kansas his junior year, and since they were in-state, he went and visited their campus. Graham Mertz's parents loved to bring him onto campus's tours. When Mertz was going through his journey of deciding which college to go to, his father, Ron, drove him six or seven hours away to different visits. When he was younger, his sister played for the Kansas State women's basketball team. They traveled a lot to see her play, so it was often they took road trips to different schools. Well, on December 19th, 2018, he signed his letter of intent with the Wisconsin Badgers, becoming the highest ranked quarterback recruit in modern Badger football history. Before Mertz even got to Wisconsin, his name was already in the headlines during the All-American game when he led the East to a 48-14 win over the West. Mertz went 7 of 14 for 188 passing yards and 5 touchdowns. Mertz set the record for most passing yards and touchdowns in a game before Oklahoma's Spencer Rattler broke Mertz's passing yard mark with 234 yards. Mertz broke his touchdown record by two touchdowns and won the MVP for the game. Badger fans, including myself, were getting excited to see what he could do in Madison. In 2019, three-year Wisconsin starting quarterback Alex Hornibrook announced he was going to be transferring to Florida State. 
This left an opening at the quarterback position, and there was going to be a quarterback competition between Graham Mertz and junior Jack Cohn. As a true freshman, Mertz lost a preseason quarterback competition to the veteran Jack Cohn. Mertz appeared in two games during the 2019 football season, going 9 of 10 for 73 yards. Cohn led Wisconsin to a 10-4 record, losing the Rose Bowl to Oregon, and it seemed like it was going to be Cohn's team once again during his senior season. That was until news broke that Jack Cohn needed foot surgery a few weeks ago after suffering a non-contact foot injury in practice according to Bucky's fifth quarter. Due to the injury, it is now time for Graham Mertz to take over the reins in Madison, Wisconsin, with Cohn being out for an indefinite amount of time. The former four-star recruit will get to show his talent off on Friday, October 23rd against Illinois in a revenge game from last season. Although the 80,000-plus seat stadium Camp Randall will be empty, Badger fans across the country will have their eyes on their TVs to see how the redshirt freshman will play. If you like what you see, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Check out my other videos in the Who Is series and remember to embrace the grind.